Um, uh, what we're going to see is not what I had been doing. I am the director of the RCMI program up to, up to now. And then, but uh, some of the, a lot of members, several members of the faculty have contributed to development of areas and uh, core facilities as well as uh, research centers that uh, are ongoing and that they will be available for, to, to, uh, to be, uh, they are committed in fact to be used by the CTRC. So uh, if you, are, you have, I, I will repeat again what Dr. Yamamura mentioned before and, and Enma, that uh, we are very willing to uh, make an adjustment to the, our technology in order to, to fit your needs in, in research uh, uh, field. I will use the RCMI organizational structure to really give you a sort of a, a overall view, a, a whole picture, panoramic view of what we have in, at UCC as far as uh, facilities for research. And I will start doing it by, do you see that pointer? Oh, here it is. By, by uh, mentioning that uh, we have an administrative structure, also just like any other RCMI program, uh, and we have a unit in the administrative uh, uh, component with scientific resources. This is for development faculty in general. But uh, I want, to, I want to, to point out that uh, we have a data management and statistic research support unit, which is directed by Diana Fernandez. And this unit uh, had been integrated incorporated into the CTRC and, and it deals mainly with informatic and statistic research and they are very, very, very uh, well trained uh, expert in the area of statistics and research and data management. <coughs> the rest of the RCMI is divided into three components. The research centers component, the general research core components and the pilot project. All these pilot projects and a good number of several uh, of pilot, pro pilot projects of the UCC use these facilities, uh, core facilities, and also are members of this center. That's why I am trying to you to have a, a general idea as to what we, where we, how we are structured, and how these different core facilities and these centers can be partic can participate in the development of the CTRC. In the, in the research center component, we have the retrovirus research center that is directed by Dr. Robert Hunter. And an HIV substance abuse laboratory as part of that center. Cancer research unit, uh, uh, which has been uh, very recently incorporated after we had a center, but uh, Sue, who is here, she was the one who initiated it. And, and we have to thank her very much for the organization of that uh, center, which now is just a unit before it used to be a center. But uh, we, are we are collaborating with her, and uh, she's, doing a, uh, she's an advisor to that uh, center in itself. The Neuroscience Research Center for, by Misty Eaton, and it has a two, two units, which is our, the Behavioral Testing Facility and the Neural and Clinical Culture Facility. Uh, behavioral Testing, is uh, in the direction of the Lerge here Rojas and the neuro neuronal, neuronal and glial culture facility by Pedro Fershman. Uh, Vesna is here and she can attest for that also, Vesna Eterovich, uh, that they, they are doing a good job in, in culturing uh, neural cells. The core facilities that we have act actively going with uh, RCMI support and which uh, can be, are committed to, to, uh, for, to, to support the researchers uh, in the CTRC. They are the optical imaging facility directed by Priscilla Sanabria, protein and nucleic acid core facility by Krishna Faxi, common instrumentation area and service by Misty Eaton, biomedical uh, <laughs> pro, uh, proteomic facility by Nawal Bukli. The, as I mentioned before, the data management and statistic research support unit, which uh, also has integrated the, in, into the PC and CTRC as the informatic center, uh, the overall objective is to provide the researchers with, uh, with uh, a statistic, data management and statistic support 
and they have, have available data abstraction and management, data entry, quality control, data analysis, consult uh, and consultant, administrative computer, and equipment necessary to, to develop, to provide that service of data management and statistics support. Sorry. The HIV and Software Abuse Laboratory Core, this is a common uh, central facility to support researchers who are working in the area of HIV, AIDS, and substance abuse. Uh, this area has a flow cytometry, cali caliber flow cytometry for uh, cells uh, uh, phenotyping, and also a CBA for uh, different cytokines and chemokines and also for uh, <coughs> DNA, DNA, DNA replication. Uh, in addition, we have a few number, numberless uh, thermocycles of all sorts and all type, including an IC cycler for real-time PCR, and these are all real-time PCR cycles too. We have just finished standardizing our microarray reader our microarray reader detects uh, and separates and identifies uh, proteins and nucleic acids. It's one of the units that uh, we uh, got from T1, T2, and then it's working at present time, and so it's available for the researchers that uh, we like to do translational research and so on and so forth. Behavioral testing facility. Although this facility was originally uh, aim at uh, be, uh, measuring behavioral and psychomotor alterations in animals now have been adapted for humans and we are very much uh, uh, interested in getting some researchers who would like to uh, test human behavioral on the presence of different drugs or substances. Uh, we have the very good uh, software to analyze the results and as I say here, mouse test chamber, no, the chamber is not for only mice, but also it can be uh, adapted to humans. So if any of you are you doing behavioral with the humans, you are very welcome. We are not, you are, we are not going to set you in the small chamber for the animals, we promise. The neural and glial culture cell facility, this facility was a uh, established in order to teach researchers to use cell cultures, especially of the neuron, neuronal origin and glial cells. Uh, it has the, the, the equipment necessary for uh, doing phase contrast, macros microscopy, and also modulation of contrast by per perception of 3D, three-dimensional three perception. The optical imaging facility, as I mentioned, Dr. Priscilla Sanabria is in charge of that. Uh, it's a, a facility that uh, provides uh, optimal application requiring imaging capture and processing from the from a fixed life and fixed <coughs> specimen. In addition to the optical imaging facility, she, part of the, this facility is the monochemistry laboratory and a laser scanning confocal microscopy unit which had been uh, very much upgraded and uh, that is also available for researchers to be used. <coughs> Protein and nucleic acid facility. This facility uh, is uh, under the direction of Dr. Baxi. She uh, actually is uh, emphasizing the use of this facility for teaching teaching and training investigators in the use of modern equipment and, and, and modern methodology. Uh, this facility itself is equi equipped with all these different uh, instrumentation. Uh, I had to highlight the electro, ele uh, electroporator for transformation and transduction experiments, <coughs> El attack prime, prime view for fusion protein purification HPLCs and DNA sequence system, systems that can are available and they are being used and they are, we are potentially and uh, to be used by the the pilot by, by the projects that are involved in the CTRC. <coughs> Common instrumentation area and services. J 
just like uh, Emma Fernandez mentioned, you know, it's a facility that, that uh, contains mainly uh, heavy instrumentation, ultra-centric digits of all type, it's a gamma counter, beta counter, and so on and so forth. And then one of the, the good things of this facility is that they have two, two technicians that are specialized, one of them is an electronic technician, and the other one is mechanical te uh, technician. And this really saves us a lot of money. I don't know if you people worry about money and how we're saving money, but this is the way to have the people, the technician necessary to make repairs and to build new devices for research. And this is what they do in this common instrumentation facility. And uh, I, I had, as I mentioned before, uh, I think uh, in, in Puerto Rico we should take advantage of uh, people, tal talent, uh, talented people who can do this type of work. <laughs> This is a listing of all the instrumentation equipment that is assigned to this facility or common instrumentation facility. Uh, thermocycles of different sites, HPLCs, radioisotopes or gamma counter and, and, and beta counter. And I want to point out, uh, point out again the, uh, the equipment for the electronic workshop and the equipment for the machine shop, which is completely a uh, structure to help the investigator to be for reparations and for uh, building new devices that can be used in, in research. Finally, biomedical proteomic facility by Dr. <laughs> Nawal Bukli. <coughs> she uh, has all the equipment necessary to do 2D gel electrophoresis. And she has uh, at the present time around 23 users from Puerto Rico and mainland. She's doing a wonderful job uh, in proteomics, especially the collaboration that she's doing with the uh, uh, researchers and, and uh, laboratories <laughs> that uh, uh, I worry are concerned as to the separating protein and identifying them. So uh, you are very much welcome to for this facility. I just wanted to mention the transmission electron microscope that we are already uh, uh, we, it was not working because we didn't have we didn't have a technician, but now it's working again and it's available for whoever would like to make uh, use of it. I would like to thank the organis the organizer of this uh, activity and the <coughs> and the all the effort that we've been doing t in order to get the the Puerto Rico uh, Clinical Translational Research uh, Consortium that we are would like to love to take advantage of it. I, I refer you to, to the listing that I, I mentioned before, the listing of uh, investigators that you, you may access to that uh, through Dr. Med, uh, Rodriguez Medina, or that they will be have it available at the office of the, of the Clinical Translational uh, Research uh, Consortium. <laughs>